In the last video, we answered the question, what is an op-amp comparator? Now, you may be wondering, how do I set up my own op-amp comparator circuits? In this video, we'll teach you what these are and how you can make your own to use in your projects. At Gentium Electronics, we believe that every problem has a solution, so we strive to make learning about electronics easier and more accessible. Our products and videos are made for creators who share our passion for technology and education equity. Now let's get right into it. We've briefly mentioned the two types of circuits that are common applications of op-amps, amplifiers and comparators. We can now move our focus to using an op-amp as a comparator circuit. Specifically, we will refer to the LM358N Low Power Dual Operational Amplifier by Texas Instruments. Don't worry if you have a different op-amp. The process will be very similar, but we suggest you review your device's datasheet to find the pinout. The first step in understanding how to use an op-amp is to look at its physical characteristics. The typical op-amp is contained inside a dual inline package, or DIP for short. At the top of the package, there is a small indent from which the pins can be identified. The pin in the top left corner is pin 1. From here, the pins increment counterclockwise around the package, with pin 8 in the top right. The LM358N op-amp is unique, as it contains two separate op-amp circuits inside. These circuits share only the same positive and negative supply voltage. Pin 8 is our positive supply voltage, which can function with a voltage between 3 and 32 volts. Pin 4 is the negative supply voltage pin. Pins 2 and 3 are the op-amp inverting and non-inverting inputs of the first amplifier accordingly, while pins 5 and 6 are the non-inverting and inverting inputs of the second amplifier. Finally, pin 1 is the output of the first amplifier, and pin 7 is the output of the second. This pinout is further detailed in the LM358 datasheet. We now know the anatomy of our LM358N op-amp. The next step is to connect it to our circuit and configure the device as a comparator. So, how do you get the LM358N op-amp to work as a comparator? Stay tuned, we'll answer this question after the break. Introducing Archimuse, an affordable handheld workstation packed into an Arduino-compatible shield. Archimuse maintains the key functionality of expensive equipment, replacing a voltmeter, an LED enunciator panel, and some functions of an oscilloscope, nicely packed into a convenient user interface. It can measure and drive analog and digital signals, display and watch variables, and return data to the microcontroller. Archimuse is designed to be as user-friendly as possible, so you can spend less time debugging and more time creating. To learn more about Archimuse, follow the link in the description. How do we get the LM358N op-amp to work as a comparator? Let's dive in. In this example, we're going to set our reference and our supply voltage to ground, so that the op-amp behaves as follows. If our input voltage is negative, our circuit will output a zero volt signal or logic low. If our input voltage is positive, the output will be equal to the positive supply voltage or logic high, as shown in this diagram. The first step is to connect pin 2, the inverting input, to ground. Note that the ground rails may have to be connected together with a jumper wire, as shown. Next, the analog input signal will be connected to pin 3, which will be compared to our zero volt reference. The analog signal can be produced using external circuitry, like an LC circuit or a function generator. Moving on to pin 4, our negative supply voltage is connected to ground, so that the minimum output voltage of the op-amp is also zero volts. The last pin to connect is pin 8, the positive supply voltage. Connect this to the positive rail of the breadboard, or directly to your voltage source if a breadboard isn't being used. Finally, we can read the output of the comparator relative to ground by using a voltmeter or with the use of a microcontroller. Examples include the Arduino Uno or the ESP32. To test the comparator, drive the input with an analog signal. Ensure that the output reflects our desired results. We hope this video served as a quick guide to get you started with op-amp comparators. You should now know how to use the LM358N op-amp comparator in your circuits. Feel free to reach out in the comments section if you have any questions or concerns about setting up the circuit yourself. Also, feel free to share which of the many applications of op-amp comparators you're taking advantage of in your projects. We want to hear about it. If you liked this video, check out the rest of our channel for more robotics lessons and educational content. We want education about electronics to be accessible and easy to understand, so if there's a topic you want us to cover, please leave a comment down below. Remember to leave a like and subscribe to stay up to date with our electronics tutorials and to continue learning how electronics work.
Thanks for watching.